watching WUFT TV News. Welcome back. Now, all you guys, listen up. You too, Connor. Your official Valentine's Day gift options now include more than the last minute teddy bears and heart shaped gift boxes. I'm a little hurt. You act like I'm against creativity <laughs> on my own, right? You know, the boss says we try to sneak in too much singing at work. So oh, tonight, guilty. Rachel guilty. White has the story of some men who get away with it. That's right. Forget the flowers and chocolate. These guys are giving a new meaning to romance. Not only will they deliver flowers, but a song and a personalized card as well. This barbershop quartet is a part of a club called the Barber Gators, and this is their busiest weekend of the year. They do house calls, sing in offices, or will even surprise your loved one in a public place. The Barber Gators don't only get calls from husbands and boyfriends. The manager here at Digital Broadcast even had them come sing to the women of his office. Uh, at first I didn't know what was going on, and then I realized um, that they were here for all the ladies here. The Barber Gators belong to a larger group called the Barbershop Harmony Society, the largest all-male singing organization in the world. This Gainesville chapter started in 1974, and members have been doing singing valentines for eight years now. The reactions they get are priceless. We get a lot of tears. We, we, we do get a lot of tears. I hope it's not from the singing. Good and uh, <laughs> good, good, happy tears. Um, uh, we've actually, we've, we've gotten a couple of yeses because we've delivered a couple of engagement rings over the years, so that's, that's kind of exciting. The men have two more days of surprises ahead, and they plan to keep the singing tradition alive for years to come. So today was only the first day of a long weekend of harmony, and if you're now thinking about surprising your sweetheart with a singing valentine, their website is barbergators.com. Rachel White, WUFT News.